Roll for Romance is a podcast featuring five friends thirsty for D20. Hello and welcome to Roll for Romance. I'm your DM, Emily, and today with me I have four incredible adventurers. Today I would like to know, what spell from your character's spell list would you choose to have if you could have it? That was a really weird way of putting it, but like you as a person, what spell would you pick? Let's start with Holly. I would pick Comprehend Languages. Awesome. That's a pretty cool one. I feel like that would, I could travel anywhere. I could also be helpful to people who are new. Is Comprehend Languages, you just listen to it or can you talk can, back? Uh, you can read it um, and you can understand it when it's being yeah. spoken. You wouldn't be able to speak back though. I feel like it might help me learn to speak it fast. That's true. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely. a good point. Very cool. Yeah, tongues is the one yeah. that lets you speak back. You need tongues. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lauren? I would do Zone of Truth because Ooh. I like drama. <laughs> I would just so take good. some people who have beef with one another and cast it. Just kind of relax and enjoy. <laughs> Can you imagine that on a reality TV show? Oh, oh my gosh. Now it's zone of truth time. I would watch the heck out of that. Excellent. And what about you, Des? Okay, well, I was going to choose Wild Shape, but mm. then I, after our discussion about talking with animals that we had before we started recording, I was like, there isn't an animal that I'd actually want to be. Sure. I'm already top of the food chain, baby. Oh, like, yeah. I go down. Oh, that doesn't get any better than so this. So then I was like, I think I would choose sleep because I think that would work very well with my career. Yeah. And oh. I could just put babies to sleep, not put them to sleep permanently. Oh like that. But, you know, like, I'd be like a pediatric nurse, lactation consultant, and I'd be oh. like, oh, it's nighttime. I'll just come over and go around the neighborhood and when all the babies asleep. That's, that's much nicer incredible. than what I was thinking. I thought you were going to become a sleep influencer. <laughs> or you could do that too. To different Whoa. places and sleep. You could do that I too. I could do that too. Like why, why constrict true. myself to one? That's like, you would make a lot of I money. Know, I know. I would be so, so rich. You would be so rich. All right, Sarah, what about you? I have the most boring answer possible, I and it's it. prestidigitation. Is that oh, boring? Prestidigitation, you never have to clean ever again. Oh, that ever. sounds oh, amazing. Yeah. Yes. That's not boring. That's clever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just point at, and you're like, Psh, and you can do it as many times as you want. Just do it all the time. I would have a spotless house, and I would take like 10 minutes just like going around and pointing at yeah. stuff. Yeah. You're clean. You're clean. <laughs> you're clean. Like Mary, Pop clean. Mary Poppins. Yeah. Yeah, basically. You could also have a business with that if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah. A cleaning business. What would you choose? Oh, I don't have a spell list, but... Um, you get the choice of any spell any you know. Spell. Any spell. I would want to be able to do like a like a greater restoration type thing. Oh, hmm. yeah. yeah. That would be good. Even other than that, I would do like clone. That would be fun. Uh, <laughs> you could start a cult with a greater restoration one. People will be like, you're a divine healer. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah, but you also should please pay me like $50,000. I'm a goddess healed. energy that needs human money. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Wait, we could make this a thing, though. Hang on. So <laughs> you would be the great healer. And when they come in, then Des can be like, sleep, restore yourself. And then they go to Lauren, who will be like, Tell me your secrets. Tell me what's troubling you. And I write it all and, down for uh -huh. later. And then you use it for our <laughs> yeah. book. Yeah. In case they, they try speak to a leave. different language, I could help interpret. Perfect. And then Sarah can help clean up, literally clean up things in their lives. Yeah. You know? Oh my yeah. God, this is going to be like Queer Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if anybody would Magic like queer. us to create a show yes. that we star in, <laughs> it's Queer Eye, right? but with magic. Magic okay. powers we don't actually have. The characters could be like a different, a Queer Eye type squad that goes around oh and fixes people's lives. For yet lives. another podcast yeah. idea. You guys, everyone, please start sending us money so that we can all quit <laughs> our jobs and just do podcasts because we have so many good ideas. Well, that was a bit more frightening than I'd imagined. My dear Logan tried to warn me, but 
Honestly, I got a bit distracted by the thought of getting to be an eternal, incredibly powerful creature. It felt as if my veins were being filled with fire as the heartwood brought me back to life. Or is it technically on death? I'm not quite sure. How strange and exciting. Before I could really get my bearings, I sensed an ominous and evil presence rushing towards me from the roots of the tree. I clawed frantically at my surroundings. After all, I wasn't about to die again before I got my honeymoon with my dear duke. The heart would finally yield and set me free, and luckily those adventurers were there to help my beloved deal with that cranky countess and the dark creature that I may have let escape when I emerged from the tree. All in all, a most exciting wedding night, don't you think? All right, so last time we had a somewhat epic battle against a vampire woman and then a bunch of creepy beetles, but you guys were fairly triumphant and Miles returned out of nowhere. Miles! Now we're going to pick up after Helrana had a very strange vision after putting a leaf-shaped stone in her mouth in bear form. What do you do, Hilrana, as you come out of that vision? I think I would look dazed and sit back on my cute little bear haunches (laughs) and just sit there. Okay, so you all just see... (laughs) Do you keep the stone in your mouth? Yes. (laughs) You see it kind of like poking out of the side of of Hilrana's bear mouth and Bearana looking dazed. Mm -hmm. You okay there, Hilrana? I'm just going to open my mouth and let the rocks (laughs) fall (laughs) on the ground. Melees will pick it up. You pick it up. Slobbery. It's a slobbery. It's, it's a, a slobbery, slobbery leaf rock. shaped rock. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it was slightly glowing before, but the glowing has ended. And also the tree, all the glowing that had been happening through the branches and such have faded away. The marks glowing on you has faded as well. You see Duchess Cosima and Baron Bloodworth in a, an embrace and they're both holding each other dazed and and scared about what just happened, but relieved that they're both okay. Is Luke okay? Yeah, I was about to ask. Luke has a very similar expression to Baron of right now, of just kind of staring at the tree, and then Cosima and Baron Bloodworth with a shocked and confused look at everything that's happened. So what's happening, (laughs) y'all? This is the scene I stumbled onto. I don't know what's going on. I do believe I've been bitten by Vampire Melex? Does that mean you're going to turn? I don't think so, but I don't know. Let's ask. Maybe we can ask the Baron later when things calm down. <laughs> well, you got, we're, we're pretty chill about that. Yeah, we're <laughs> pretty chill about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll find not out. Sure. <laughs> well, I don't want to. He and, is Cosima still naked? I would say that Baron has very kindly taken his cape off okay. and draped it around yeah. him. Yeah. Now it's full of tree goo. Yeah. Uh, let, let's roll Arcana. For what are you trying to determine? <laughs> if she's going to be a vampire or not. Oh, sure. I got a natural one. <laughs> you know, the more you don't know a lot about vampires, but you've heard that sometimes when people are bitten by other creatures, it will transform them into what that creature was. Oh, no. What if you do become a vampire? I guess I will just have to find friends who are willing to share a little bit of their love with me in the form of their blood. So chill. Berana gets up, backs away a few steps, and sits back down. (laughs) (laughs) Luke will see that and come over to you and just kind of place a hand on your bear paw. You can suck my blood anytime, honey. Ooh. Oh my oh, word. word. <laughs> As you all are having this, this quick chill conversation while the two of your two people are dazed, um, you do, Lainey, I would say that you notice that a bunch of those servants who had fled a little bit have come back and have started to clean stuff up. They're like a bunch of they're very dedicated to their jobs. Lanterns that have been put out, and they're starting to put those away and clean up after the party. Yeah, they're used to seeing this kind of stuff, I guess. Dang. Yeah. Okay. This is quite a party. Is this uh, a normal party for this hereabouts? What happened? (laughs) Oh, right. You don't. You just got here. This is Luke. This is Uncle the Baron, and apparently his new fiance. You remember Lady Cosima? 
that's yeah. just Kasima from that's her can you believe that? oh i didn't recognize her with all the goo with all the goo i know yeah yeah we came here it's actually her birthday party long story short Hilrana's dad you know how he's kind of into some it's a whole caper with a ruby we were trying to get back and it turned out Kasima had the ruby huh so we came to get the ruby, and then there were vampires and bears and Triku. Oh my! Wow, that's one hell of a party. I'm gonna go over to Cosima and the Baron. Sure. Hello, I'm uh, I'm Melius Gloriosus. I just arrived here. Hell of a party. It looked wicked. <laughs> uh, do you need us for anything else? What's going on here? I heard there were vampires. Miles, it is a pleasure to meet you. Um. <laughs> I apologize that you were not invited to my party to begin with, but I don't mind a party crasher. Things did not go exactly as planned, but <laughs> everything seems kind of okay now, sort of, so, um, welcome. You don't need to hang out if you don't want to, but it's pretty late, so you can spend the night if you want to. I just couldn't help noticing that you were super sad about a, the tree. And then Cosima came out of the tree. Yes, my beautiful so, bride, Cosima. Mm-hmm. I was just wondering if you could like <laughs> elucidate, like, could you like explain more about that situation? I don't know you very well, but you did help, so. Actually, you know what? Go ma- make a persuasion check for me, Milis. I got a twenty-two. It is kind of complicated, but um, yes, I, I am the steward of this tree that you see, and. It was seeming to be dying, and Cosima, we met at the royal wedding. In fact, I I think maybe, were you there? I was there. I feel like I would have remembered a character like you. Though. Well, Cosima and I um, spent a lot of time elsewhere. Got it. Cosima's like, Wink. yes, I, it was, I wasn't expecting it at all, but it was a delightful union. Ooh. <laughs> Aww. Yes, I do not know what came over me, but we found a, a twin soul with each other. And Cosima came and decided that she was going to dedicate herself to trying to reinvigorate the tree through some, you know, rituals. Totally normal blending with the tree rituals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you do. I am not the most natural person, as you can see, and now my... Cosima is also like me. We are born from the tree and gain certain powers from that. Are you a vampire? A vampire? Um. <laughs> Sorry, is that rude to ask? I don't know. <laughs> no, it is not rude. I, yes, I am a vampire. Okay, Say quick it. question. Yeah, uh, Sugar, the Countess sort of bit me a couple of times, Ma. Gonna be all right. Do you need healing? Oh, that would be wonderful. I mean, Lanny has already given me some healing, but then she's not going to bit me again. She is incredibly rude. Oh, uh, no. She was the one who decided to create me. She didn't want to watch the tree anymore, but I can heal you a bit. And he'll, if you don't mind, and he'll oh, please. place a hand on your, on your neck and some glowing energy comes off and he heals you. Oh, thank you so much. Here you go. Sounds like if you don't do the whole tree goo thing, you're fine. Oh, thank you, Miles. What a wonderful yes. idea. I don't know what you've heard about vampires before, but we are a bit different, our type. We are also blended with nature and the earth. Tree pyres, I guess. Tree pyres. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Which is, you know, kind of problematic because sticks are made of wood, but... Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, it's kind of be, yeah. be a little itchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... <laughs> I, I am not here to harm you. I'm not here to do anything to, to hurt you. And Cosima agreed to her turning as well. Well, it did seem as though she was in full agreement. But do you think do you think your problem is solved now that the Beatlemania seems to have passed? Beatlemania? Well, I, I, was, I went inside the tree and it was very dark in there and I... Ooh. felt very strange, and there was some kind of magic that enveloped me while it was in there. But also at the same time, those beetles were were swarming towards me, and that's when I kind of got spit out of the tree. Ooh. Then they followed, and I think that that must have been the corruption that was going on with the Baron's heartwood. Ah. So perhaps there's a chance to heal the forest there. 
One can only hope. All I have wanted my entire life was to protect these woods, but I felt that I had been failing in these past years, but it turns out that it was not me, but instead some insidious influence. Oh my goodness, well we did get chased by some strange looking wolves in the carriage on the way here. Yes, I was able to ward my estate from the other creatures that live in the woods, but the entire place was beyond my control. Well, do you think healing this tree will help heal the forest and the creatures in it? I know Hilrana is very interested in the health and safety of the creatures in the forest. I think now that I have my beloved here, the heartwood thrives, or at least it used to thrive, off of passion and love and the presence of desires and, and the, the workings of the heart. And I didn't have that for a very long time, and so I felt maybe that was why the tree was was dying. And hence why I brought Cosima here. But turns out, you know, um, <laughs> it wasn't really my fault. You know, I'm going to have to unpack that. <laughs> 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 turns out that I got a wonderful wife, and instead you all helped me defeat what would, whatever was harming the, the wood. We also found this... And I'll extend my deep. hand, and it's the leaf rock. He will take it. Though. This is... I don't know if that's yours. Fascinating. I have never seen anything like this before. It came from within. Did that come from the tree? It or seems it? like it was. It had come from the beetles that were inside the tree. They had been okay. kind of wrapped around it. After hearing all of this, Luke will stand up out of his daze and look over at the, the pair and say, I do not understand. You... Why didn't you tell me about any of these things? I didn't know that you were a vampire. You never told me, and I, I thought that I had some kind of weird curse on me, and... What is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell me? Aww. I thought he was a vampire because of the accent. You are not a true vampire. I, I'm sorry for lying to you. May, perhaps we can have a discussion about your origins at another time. Ooh, Luke origin story. Oh my god, is he his father? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, looks like you told me that my you told me that my mother had died in childbirth and you were my uncle. Who are you to me? And the Baron is like It is complicated. Do the line. Look, I am Kind of go. <laughs> no. 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 Your feelings. You know it can be true. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't it be great if this entire arc just ends up being Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> and we we are like Emily's so creative, but uh -huh. she's really she's just like, <laughs> <up> Star Wars, <laughs> stealing like, plots from whole movies. Yeah, that's, I mean, come on, what else am I supposed to do? But wait a minute. Also, Hilrana is no longer a bear. Okay, so you Poof. turn back into your normal she is a, self. All lady thing. All lady lady thing. Lady, <laughs> lady she's lady ish. You forgot what. Like you're, yeah, what Janasi <laughs> looks like, and you're just kind of like no, because she's kind of she's she doesn't think of herself as like a lady. She's yeah. like a thing. She's, she's a, a creature. She's a creature. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Luke, I, as I said, I am kind of your father. I I do not completely understand how you were created. I was injured gravely at the base of the heartwood when a shadow beast attacked, and my blood was spilled into the earth. And sometime later. Plant you had baby. emerged from the tree. Why does that turn so me on? So you are made from me, but also from the earth. And Luke, Luke's just like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? It's literally the plant baby. Yeah, and, pa and Baron Bloodworth is also continues that all of the people that live in Serlin have been born of the heartwood, but not particularly my blood. Is that how we got on talking about plant babies earlier? I don't know, man. No, but, oh babies. my gosh, it's all coming together. They're plant people. God. I also want to make a shirt that says, Luke, I'm kind of your father <laughs> and with a plant baby. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta write that down. And you're for my, my plant baby. Next art creation. <laughs> Luke and him are going to have to have a long conversation. I will discuss this with you at another time. I need to. This is why I don't remember anything from my childhood. And. The Baron just looks 
ashamed that he didn't tell him anything. Oh, so did he like emerge fully formed? Like a, a fully formed man? Yep. A man. A, a man. man. A man. Helena's oh, man. even more into him than she already was. <laughs> Wait, you were never a baby. That's sexy. No, it's the fact that he came from the forest. <laughs> came from the earth. Oh, and he's, yeah. That uh, makes sense. And so yes, he's, he's not trees. like, he's not like in uh, Voyager where like it's like the fully formed humanoids, but then they all have the personality and, and intellect of like a child. Oh, that always creeps that me out. That creeps me out. He like was, he had like thoughts and and kind of coding in him from the tree yeah so that's what's going on now and Cosima's gonna give them a little bit of space and come over to Lanny like it's it's lovely to see you again <laughs> <laughs> I'm like really making eye contact super hard oh she has a cape wrapped around okay her. okay okay yeah, yeah yeah oh yes it's it's lovely to see you again you, Cosima you do look, I'm turning into the bear and everyone when they turn everyone's the barons oops all barons oops all barons I didn't recognize you at first, but now I can see it is the lovely Lanifer. Yes, um, I'm very glad that you, uh, emerged from the tree and you aren't just dead. You know, me too. But it was kind of nuts. It was kind of nuts what the Baron told me, but, you know, I'm so in love that... And I was ready for a change, you know, you get stuck being the same person all the time. Right. And yeah. well, maybe you don't understand, but <laughs> I, as a royal and not somebody in succession, it just, I was stuck and I needed something new and now I have it. I'm very powerful now. She's saying all this, <laughs> yes. like, covered in goo. Yes. <laughs> like, Congratulations. I love that. Yes. Mazel I'm tov. very powerful now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I hope that you won't speak too unkindly if you happen to run into the rest of my family. I won't be returning. Oh, well. Oh, that's your. That's yeah. understandable. I'm not royal myself, obviously, but I know that the bounds of family um, in the nobility can be just very crushing. It's awful. But anyway, I'm so sorry to dump my trauma oh, no. onto you, Lana. The rich oh, people all. complaining about how hard their lives are. Oh no, trust me, and I'm still incredibly rich. So no, you know, I'm also, <laughs> also pretty rich. So <laughs> I don't have room to talk. <laughs> now that that things are a little more settled, um, Lady Kasima, would you be all right in light of the circumstances if we did take that little jewel back? Um, I wasn't going to mention that. Thanks a lot, Ferris. <laughs> she doesn't know you have it. She just... Oh, I, I mean, yeah. uh, of, of course you can have that ruby. I, I don't need that anymore. Thank you so much, Lady Kasima. I'm sorry that you had to endure such a strange evening in this order to retrieve wonderful. it. wonderful. I wish more parties were like this. Oh, well then good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a good time. She winks at Luke. Luke is, it, it doesn't really notice because he's having a very <laughs> difficult conversation. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll pat him um, on the shoulder. Yeah. So what are we doing now after you after you speak with Duchess Cosima and have a moment of a break after the nonsense that has occurred? Well, I feel like the servants are giving us a hint. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> What's everybody's? Uh, I think you have a high pass, yeah, probably the highest passive perception, Hilrana. Mm -hmm. um, you have the highest wisdom, Hilrana. You do notice that all of the people, the servants, and and such, look healthier now. Mm -hmm. Good for um, them. Yeah, <laughs> they they still are like kind of autonomous, their skin but, red. Yeah. but they look a little healthier now. Okay. How's the tree looking? Tree's looking a little better. It's not like an okay. immediate transformation to being perfect, but it had a grayish unnatural discoloration to it. And it is starting very slowly. You can see that it's turning more into an, a nat more natural tree shade. Excellent. No, we had a room. At, oh, Horana had a room. Yes. And Lanny and I were going to yes. stay in there. Ferris will take me Lisa's arm and look to Lanny and say, do you guys want to go to the room? Kind of feel awkward. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah. I, don't, well, yeah. I didn't want to speak for oh. Horana because I didn't know about her <laughs> and Luke. I think Luke's having some internal yeah. issues but right now. The crisis. <laughs> I might hang out with him a little bit and okay. uh, 
you can absolutely go to Hilrana's room. They're also Countess Amani's room is empty, I guess, except for Mark, who oh, yeah. Mark has probably been brought inside by the yeah, servants to I have think... like a, a shock blanket put over him. Yeah, he's wearing a thunder, thunder shirt. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he'd want to be in Countess Amani's room. I think I might go see if we can use Countess Amani's room. Yes, you can absolutely do that. Because our room is crappy. It's yeah, there are spiders. some very fancy gowns and stuff that are hung up in the closet in there and some various jewelry that she has left behind. <laughs> oh, I too bad for her. Totally yeah, stealing all, stealing all of her stuff, stuff yeah, for yeah. sure. Is she like at all close to my size? Because I will steal her, her clothing. Oh, yeah. I think she's curvier than Lanny, but you could always take, still have you got it taken in. She could take, take it in. in. Yeah, there's like some tra- really nice traveling clothes and a nice gown and a bag of uh, dirt. Ooh. I don't have that dirt. I didn't take the bag of dirt. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the dirt seems super cursed or something. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm taking the bag of dirt. Uh, I don't need that. I'm taking your clothes though. Okay, perfect. I don't take any stray jewelry or hair. Hair yes, you can have all I'm of that. I'm imagining this she is probably great skin dirt. lotion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, skin yeah. product. She does not because okay. she is she hasn't moisturized. preternaturally. Um, <laughs> she doesn't have to moisturize. Matt has fabulous skin. Does Hilrana, uh, does uh, Miles consider for a second becoming a vampire <laughs> so that he can get like a preternatural skin? Absolutely. <laughs> My skin regimen takes like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. On a good day. <laughs> Who is this we're talking about? Countess Amani. Countess yes. Amani. I'm taking Countess her. Amani her has, possible grave yeah. dirt. That's some good dirt. Well, I think we should tell the Baron we got a bucket of dirt here or a bag full of dirt that's probably for Countess Amani. Why he do you probably... always want to tell people things? Well, I just feel like in this case, he may know how to safely dispose of it. You know what? It. It's my dirt. I took it. Well, that's true. Mind your business. Wait, you took the dirt? I took the bag of dirt. Whoa, what are you going to do with that Somebody dirt? Somebody needs some sleep. I don't know, but I might need it in the future. That's okay. the bat lady? She's the yeah. mean one. Yeah. 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 Who bit me. Now I've got just, her dirt. Yeah. Is she going to come back for the dirt? Can I Can I uh, do some sort of check on the dirt? <laughs> yeah, let's make, dirt a, check. make a nature check on the dirt. <laughs> the ten, ten. I can detect magic, so oh, if you okay. want to show actually, it to me, I can, I can be like, that's I'm magic I'm going to show dirt. it to Lanny, too, uh, with my tent. With the tent, it. it's some dirt. Oh, it's just okay. dirt. decent soil. Why does she have a bag of dirt? Okay, can I show it to Lanny, though? I'm going to ritual cast detect magic. And I look at the dirt. Sure. It's not magic dirt. It's just dirt. It's dirt. What's like the okay. soil? Is it like good soil? Can I use it in my garden? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sweet. Okay. It's, it's just soil, like some potting y'all. soil. Yeah. <laughs> is this oh, nice. is this a situation where we would know that like they carry their dirt? Around? I don't know. Make a okay. make like a history check. I'm gonna make or one uh, I guess an arcana check probably would be more more likely. I might succeed at that. Ooh. Nope. Eight, I rolled eight, another eight, one. This dice is going away. 18. I got a 12. 12. Yeah, I got a know. 19. Hey. So Miles oh. and Hilrana would know that from lore of vampires that sometimes they need to bring dirt or earth from their home when they travel. Mm. Or else they will. What happens if they don't have their dirt? They can't rest. Sleep. Like take a long rest type thing. Oh, see, it is good to take the dirt in mm-hmm. case you, you run don't know if she has other mm-hmm. dirt. But she yeah, probably you can does, take I the assume. dirt. Yeah. But might come in handy or not. Whatever, I'm taking it. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys want to go to sleep for the evening and then figure out things in the morning? Is there anything else you want to do tonight? I'm just gonna check on Luke. See yeah. how he, he's doing. He's probably in one of the sitting rooms, just hanging out, having a cup of tea and lost in thought. And he'll see you and stand up and say, Oh, Hilrana, I'm so sorry about everything that has happened this evening. I would never have brought you here if I'd known it would be so perilous. Oh, this has been the best evening I've had in a while. I mean, it's had some very good moments for me and also some pretty bad ones, but I'm glad it was good for you. Oh yeah, well, I'm sorry that you found out that uh, the Baron might be your kind of father and that you're like a tree person. 
yeah, that, it's <laughs> apparently like everyone here is trip. I mean, tree person, yeah, I'm kind of offended me. that you'd be upset by that though, because I'm kind of a tree person. It's not that, and it's pretty great. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to. I understand why you would be offended. And I apologize. It is more that I didn't know at all. So it's kind of shocking to be like, oh, you're not a real person. You're from a tree. No, you're 100% still a real person. You're Thank just... you. There, there is apparently something different about me, probably because of the Baron's blood. If there's anything I can ever help you with, if you want more information or anything, I'm sure with my father's connections, that is, it's very I could help you out. I think the Baron has filled in most of the blanks for me, but your aid this evening was, was quite appreciated and thank you. Of course. Just know that I'm here for you. If Thank you. you. Need I, anything? I, I really appreciate that. I I apologize. I'm most likely not going to return to Mirador. I will be staying here with the Baron for a while to try to figure some things out for myself. I expect it as much. I I hope that you're able to learn some things, and I'll be around whenever you're free. Thank you. I would I would love to see you again. I. The part time parts of the evening that I spent with you were <laughs> very enjoyable. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is there anything I can get for you? Oh no, I was just uh, about to turn in, and I just wanted to check on you and make sure you're all right. Ah yes, uh, is your room to your liking? Oh yes, it's wonderful. Okay, um, thank you. Have a good night. Ha- have a good night. I hope that you get some good rest. Me too. Well, I want to make a charcuterie board. Ooh, another charcuterie one. board. Yes. Can and we have one? Sit with Melis and find out what Melis has been up to. Yeah, so you can you can unwind at the early morning hours have over a charcuterie board with Melis. I think Hilrana's also joining because yeah, she definitely. hasn't seen Melis. And cheese. Yeah. In a long meat. time. Cool. Yeah, you can yeah. have a chat. Yeah, Let's all chat. sit by the fire <laughs> and catch up. I need to know I feel what like Lanny would join, but yeah. she would immediately fall asleep on the couch. I meant to stay awake, but... But you know how it it's comes. Tough. Well, what happened to Thaladin? Did you ever run into him? Yes. Uh, mm, he had me join Hyper Shred. You, the the exercise thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what they market it as. Oh. oh they do shakes or something. They do shakes. They do shapewear. Uh, oh, yeah. Shapewear. Mm-hmm. I know about that. Yeah. And so they... Uh, well, you know, we won't get too into it, but it was uh, it was probably like a market, like multi level marketing scheme sort of oh. thing. It just you know it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Yeah, but Thaladin was super into it. So you went to serve your goddess and ended up in a pyramid scheme. You know, I just go where she she leads me. That- so I learned some lessons. Maybe it was lessons I needed to learn. Oh. Thaladin also left Hyper Shred at the same time that okay. you did. Yeah, he left it as well. Oh. We got out. And then he just sort of <laughs> stares blankly Are you to the distance. Incredible. Are you okay? <laughs> They're well, definitely part of a survivor's group now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad yeah, we you're here. How in the world did you know where we were? So I, I went back to Greg's house. Oh. And I didn't find you there. Uh, Archibald told me that y'all had gone to a party oh, without Archie. me. And I just thought I'd go crash it. Oh, honey, we're so glad you did. I am too. Whew. After you talk the evening away and have some some restful snuggles and sleep, it is midday tomorrow, but it's kind of hard to tell when you wake up because the light level in the space is pretty much the same as it was at night because of the thick tree canopy. When you get up, you'll be offered some food and the Baron will come and speak to you and say, Well, I hope that you got some rest. I typically am... Asleep now, but I figured that I should thank you once again and offer you a carriage back to Mirador if you would like to return. You are welcome to stay as long as you want, but we are going to be um, rebuilding a bit. I gotta get this jewel back to my father. Yes, of course, of course. I forgot that's why you came. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'd like to head back, although I should let him sit in that cell a while. Your dad's incarcerated? Oh yeah, he's in jail again. That's why we needed the ruby. It's a long story. Well, when we get in the carriage, I'm going to tell Milice about the book club, social club, excuse me, the yes. social club. And then you and I can 
pass my book, my copy of the book back and forth. Kiss of fire. Kiss what? of fire. What is that? <laughs> we, were, um, we well, joined a book club. We joined a book club. Oh. And it's, it seems like it might be for, you know, romance novels. And I just feel like you would love to be a part of it. And we all have copies of the book if you want to share mine. Oh, y'all are all in the book club together. Yes. Well, yeah, I want to be part of it. I want to be left out. Of well, you, ha- not. Uh, you have to go buy something from yeah. the shop. You got to buy two magical items from Spellbound in order to get access to the social club, aka the book club. Sounds like another pyramid scheme. Uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> just a shrewd businesswoman. Yes. Mealis is a little. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> and then I have to recruit thing. two friends to the house. <laughs> <of America. laughs> um, before you head out, uh, Luke will come and say goodbye to you and um, give you a kiss if you are willing and uh, just a, a nice. A nice farewell. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you'll have to like role play that out. But he's not just gonna be like, ah, oh, whatever, fuck you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I I look forward to seeing you again. I will I will write you and maybe we can spend some time again in a bit. Well, you know where to find me. I do, and you know where to find me now, but I don't blame you for not wanting to come back here. I know I had fun, like I said before. Okay, it's well, been great. You know, next time the Baron has a party, you are obviously invited. Excellent. All right. Safe travels. We got to stop at Roadhouse on yes. the way back. Guys. Okay. Ooh. So that is my question for you all. First day of travel, pretty uneventful. We're not going to go through a whole huge thing, but on your last day of travel, you could push through and get back to Mirador, or you could stop at the Roadhouse, which is the adventurer's LARP for rich people. Roadhouse. 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 I don't know if they're so excited about <laughs> it. Anyways, you're going to love it. They like, could not shut up about it the most of the trip. <laughs> is, it, is it Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? Okay, I'm going to roll and see Wednesday? if it's Wednesday. And no matter what I roll, it's going to be Wednesday. <laughs> Yay. Hey there, it's your DM and pal Emily. This week's episode is sponsored by Regal Rollers and their Kickstarter. They make gorgeous sharp edge dice and the Kickstarter features 16 styles to choose from. I am, self-admittedly, a dice hoarder who loves all of those shiny math rocks. So I'm having a very hard time not getting all of these beautiful dice. I really wish that I had the Blood Moon set. It has these crimson, dark, and like smoky colors to it. I wish I'd had that for the Bloodworth arc because Man, that would have been so thematic and perfect. But, oh darn, guess I will have to have even more sexy vampires in the show so that I have an excuse to get myself a set. Sets are $40, can be bought inked or uninked, and there are even standalone D20s and sets of D6s, D8s, D10s, and D12s for damage rolls or for non-D20-based TTRPGs. With over 2,500 sales and a 4.9 out of 5 rating from 700 plus reviews, Regal Rollers is confident in their ability to fulfill this Kickstarter smoothly. So go ahead and grab yourself a set of these, dare I say sexy, dice. The Kickstarter ends on May 19th. And of course, we'll have a link to the Kickstarter in the episode notes so you can check it out. All right, so on a personal note, I'm channeling my rage over the leak of the Supreme Court's draft overturning Roe v. Wade into coordinating a TTRPG bundle raising funds for reproductive rights. It's better than just sitting around and being so fucking mad. Anyway, (laughs) but the good news is that over 200 amazing creators have contributed to the bundle and it will be live within the next few days, as of the time of the release of this episode. I'll add in the link in the episode notes once it's live, and I hope that you'll consider supporting this crucial cause. And lastly, an enormous thank you to you. Yeah, you. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a nice big hug from me. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the show. An extra special shout out to Angie or, okay, this is a long string of numbers, so I hope I get this right. At AngieGo0758602 on Twitter. Angie, you rock. Thank you for being such a vocal supporter of Roll for Romance. Okay, now let's get back to the action. Ha <laughs> ha!
It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <gasps> it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make it back for Wild Wolf and wo- Wild Wolf, Wild Wings, and what? What is it? Wild Wings and Wolf Attack Wednesdays. Yes, this is what it is. It is packed when you get to the, oh, yeah. to the Roadhouse. It has a bunch of dogs that are being being brought in to the building by a handler. They all appear to have been dressed up in wolf costumes. <laughs> They're like <laughs> big kind of hounds that they have tried to dri- like fancy up to look more like, like a chihuahua. tough wolves. <laughs> yes, oh, chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. Yes. There's a, look, a mix of different dogs, whatever ones they could find. <laughs> and you can see him, he doesn't actually take them inside. He's bringing them out around the side of the building and getting them pumped for when they're gonna do their wolf attack. <laughs> 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 and then we each have to adorn ourselves with the meat juices. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when you enter the building, they're like, oh, uh, welcome to the roadhouse. Tonight, there is an entry fee if you are not a town guard. But other than that, uh, please grab some some meat juice and, you know, slather it on yourself and that'll help. <laughs> with, the wolves will really be attracted to that. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Let's do so it. in this situation, we want to be yeah. attacked. Oh, was this your first time? This is my first time. time. She's yeah. welcome. The roadhouse virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like he brings a battle. <laughs> and everybody's like, fresh meat, fresh meat, fresh meat, fresh meat. Fresh meat. Oh, I get that ladder pint. <laughs> They're gonna bring over this really ridiculously oversized ale mug and Amazing. give it to you, and, and then they're the gonna and, and the guy, the person who has welcomed you is going to say, "All right, now you know the initiation. Is you gotta chug as fast as you can." <laughs> so here we go. Are you oh, ready? Uh, no, can I get an umbrella? Umbrella is not what a rough like and a tumble little, adventurer would have, my friend. Like, you like, gotta play along. You're new to adventuring and this whole this whole LARP thing, but yeah, we're tough here. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, tougher, super, super too tough for umbrellas. Okay, yes. no but like yeah, salt get, ring or you, a lime or anything. That's fine. Yeah, no, it, no. Okay, we have bad ale and stale bread and vaguely okay stew. If you pay an extra uh, five gold, I think right after you finish, you could punch that guy in the face. Yes, yeah. yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I was like, yeah, chug, 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 And then roll uh, to hit, to punch the guy. So I guess chugging would be a constitution thing. Uh, 13 for the chugging. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid chug. It's not like particularly impressive, so you don't get the Chug Award. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. for the evening. Well, I still get to punch Yeah, they someone. put your name in a pl- plaque <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. If you get under a certain time. And then your punch, you can roll for that. 13. 13, um, yeah, you can easily hit this person that is paid there to be, <laughs> to to be, be punched. punched. Yeah, um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you punch him and he grabs, he's like, oh, that's a good one, my friend. And he claps you on the back and then says, welcome, you welcome. You punch me. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Of course, how dare you punch me? <laughs> how very dare you? Uh, he rolls a 12. I don't think that's going to hit unless you just let him do it. I will let him. Okay, he punches you. It's not going to, it's not like, no. it's more of a stage punch. Yeah. And he says, take that. All right, we're settled now. Get on in there. And of course, like I said, grab your meat juice um, if you want the wolves to come to you. Oh, yes. Now, we do need you to sign a waiver. The wolves have never actually hurt anyone, but you know, for the theatrics, just make sure that you are, you do not injure the animals and the animals will not injure you. Could we possibly pretend for the sketch artist, for the quick sketch artist in the back, just pretend we're being bitten and, you know, Oh yeah, absolutely. You can yeah. you can for sure do that. Uh, they will bite you. Wonderful. Then yeah. I sign you by you. Sure. All right. So you are at Roadhouse. Is there anything in particular you would like to do before the wolf attack commences? Oh shoot. I want some wings. Do yeah. want some wings? Okay. Yeah. That's the special tonight. You get some wings. You do see that there is a very strong guard presence. Oh yeah. Um, because they do eat free. Yes. And um, yeah, you get a bunch of wings. They're they're decent. They're much better than the normal food that you have here at Roadhouse. Hirana just realized that she forgot to tell Chadley she was leaving. <laughs> oh shit! He's still back at the manor. You uh, no, Chadley did did stumble into the carriage before you left. Oh. He he okay. he ran up. I totally forgot about Chadley. Uh, never. He, he chased after the carriage. Oh, 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 no. oh no! And he sulked a. Little bit. Oh gosh. 
I gave him some money so that he could get attacked by a wolf to make him feel better. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's off um, talking to a buxom wench. And- <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> so, like, in terms of, of Roadhouse, what's allowed, what's not, um, am I allowed to pick people's pockets? Absolutely. I'm definitely going to try and pick some pockets. Sure, go for it. I am not proficient in sleight of hand. But first, I'm going to try sneaking up on a guard. Okay. Oh, yeah. I caught a 24 Ooh. for my stealth roll. Okay. Yeah, you are not noticed at all. It's so crowded in here. Like, no one is kind of paying any attention to you. Pick his pocket. I'm going to set up a little thing by the bar, and anybody that wants me to throw a drink in their face can just line Ooh. up. Okay. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Genius. Okay, so roll for picking the pocket. Oh, oh, that was bad. I got a, a nine. Got an eight. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's too busy chunking, chunking, <laughs> chunking those wings. Well, sometimes after you chug, you chug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is chugging some some ales with his bros and does not notice at all. Nice. Is there like a really, really spicy wing that you could eat? Like, oh, yeah. you have to sign There's a, a waiver challenge. for There's a waiver and okay, a challenge. Okay, Hilarana wants to do the spicy wing challenge. <laughs> oh, I want to do it too. Try to get her okay. name on the wall. Spicy wing challenge. Challenge if you guys can eat your plate of spicy wings within five minutes. You got okay. five minutes to eat these spicy wings. Um, and some people are gathering around when they they do they 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 do the the spicy wild wings wolf attack Wednesday Wednesday <laughs> challenge. Um, one other person is going to join in with with oh. the the spicy wing challenge. Um, so the three of you are lined up at a table, given your plate of wings, and you're like, all right. When you're ready, here we go. And everybody starts cheering and you can start eating your wings. Um, I'm going to make you just make three constitution saving throws. And the DC, I will say, for these spicy ass wings is going to be... I got a 21. I got an eight. I think that the DC is going to be 20 for this okay, yeah. constant. So now it's me lace in the What did the other guy roll? Or did me lace win automatically on the first? No, it's three. It's going to be three rolls. Okay. It'll be a bet. Like if you get two out of three, okay. then... You you will potentially finish the challenge. Ooh, I got a twenty. Okay, Ooh. let's wait. Let's do them one at a time though. So the first one, Hilrana, you are that spice hits you and it is rough. But Melee's is fine. You got this. It's pretty spicy, but you're used to it. This person is just like oh, like grabbing and like chugging water is just making it worse, and they're just having a terrible time. Okay, next roll. Twenty. Twenty. Seven. Um, seven. Okay, so you were super confident Melee's going into it, but it's it's like the back side of the heat is coming in mm. and <laughs> it's rough. But you're now you that you Getting know what you're to, to expect. You're used to it. The Dragonborn is barely <laughs> eating like two of these wings. It's not good. Not looking like they're gonna finish it. And you've got one minute left. You still got a a, a big chunk of wings. Another left. twenty. Oh, nice. Ooh, what did you get, I got a seven again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I crapped out. So yeah, you it's just too much. You were a little overconfident and you went too hard at the beginning, but Hilrana got acclimated Yay. and she finishes the challenge right as the uh, they're about to ring the bell to say that the time is up and everybody, the whole place erupts in cheers and then at that very moment, the doors burst open and they start leaping on people. Now, did you guys put meat juice on? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Of course. There's at least 20 quote unquote wolves coming into the space. Um, I'm gonna roll for some wolf attacks against oh you my all. God. Um, I'm like crouching down so there's more of my limbs for them to attack. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you want to like move towards them to try to like get yeah, a, a target yeah. to attack, or you want to try to get ready in like a defensive posture against the wolves? I'm just gonna lay down because I feel <laughs> yeah. like yeah. I just want to cuddle with them. Yeah. Okay. So just gonna like, just like lie down on the f- dirt floor. So yeah, the rolls that I need you all to make are going to be either athletics or acrobatics to try to push your way or maneuver your way into the path of the wolves beyond the other patrons here. Oh, I got a four. So I'm gonna roll for Chadley. Chadley got a net 20. Whoa, Chadley's like riding one. Like. Chadley's in a wolf's mouth right now. Yeah. <laughs> I also got it. a 20. Oh my god. Not a natural. Okay. okay. I got a 14. 14. I got an 18. 18, yeah. Hilrana was going to like run away from the wolves, so she's not trying to get in. Oh she yeah, you didn't understand. Her. Yeah, no, okay. she wants them to chase her. You want them to chase her. It didn't well. work they because so, they, me. so many people were in the way that like they didn't even notice <laughs> no that you were wolves. running. 
Oh, they are definitely trained to, to chase after people, but tonight's so packed that it's basically you have to push your way into the path of one of these wolves. So yeah, I'm sorry, what did you get, Lanny? I forgot. 18. 18, okay. Everybody else, though, Chadley is being uh, just completely mauled by a, <laughs> a, a chihuahua. Uh, actually, no, the biggest hound there went for Chadley because he got the nat 20. Wolves pounce on you, are, and you just lie on the ground, melees, which is perfect. So a bunch of little chihuahua wolves come up and, and <laughs> come up on you. <laughs> oh my god. And, and start licking you and licking the little the, the meat and then one of them kind of comes and snuffles up next to your face and just gives you little kisses Yay. and and then somebody shouts, Oh no, they got that one! <laughs> They're tearing his flesh off! Oh, yes. oh, oh, please please send help. <laughs> And um, yeah, you both are, are, are more mid-sized wolves are, yeah. are coming after you both. And you'll get a bit of wolf attention before they move on to their next victim. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the way it goes. They pounce. One of them kind of leaps up and you can catch it in your arms and it gives you some kisses on the face and then jumps back down and runs off. <laughs> and there the are best. strewn bodies of people across the space who have been Mauled by the yeah, I think that should be a thing. Like you have to drop. I'm just wondering how Roadhouse retains its like health inspection. Oh, it absolutely <laughs> does not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's probably <laughs> these places have to shut down that's after they, like a, a month. It's just like that's why they do guard, guards eat free for that reason. Oh, oh yes, yeah. exactly. Right. Oh my gosh. So you're so right. Yeah. So yeah, they can stay in business for a long time because the guards are in their pocket. Perfect. That's how the world works. <laughs> that's how the baby. world works. <laughs> <laughs> You head back the next morning to Mirador, refreshed by your puppy adventures, and you return back to Greg's house. Yay! Yay you're back in Greg's Mirador. House. As you approach the front door, you see that the guards are still kind of doing their normal patrol, but at the front door, there is a pile of mail just sitting there. Where's Archibald? Is yeah. he not getting the mail? Has he been kidnapped now? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Only time. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna find out where Archibald is. Okay. Yeah. You can. You can head into the house. Is anybody gonna pick up the mail? Sure. I'll pick up the okay, mail. Okay. So you pick up the mail. You go inside. It looks like no one has been in here for a couple days, and you look all around for Archibald. He is nowhere to be found. Even in all the different secret corridors that you know of. Even there's no sandwiches. There are no sandwiches. All of the components for making a sandwich are still in the fridge. They look like they've they've seen like better days. They're at the end of their probably when they should be fresh. But yeah, no Archie. Oh dear. Do you think they might have kidnapped Archie? <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever disappeared like this before? Only when he's been kidnapped. Oh. Uh, should we look around for a, a note or a letter? What, what's in the mail? Is there anything in the mail about it? Yeah, yeah do you want to look at what you yeah, got in let's the, mail? Check yeah. the mail? Yes, let's check the oh, mail. Usually there's a threatening letter or something somewhere. <laughs> do I have to roll investigation to check no, the mail? No, I think that each, I'll let each one of you p uh, look at a different piece of mail oh, okay. um, that has come. Both you and Melees see this tin that's kind of the fanciest looking item here. It has a bow wrapped around it and a little note card on it. And you both go for it at the same time to, to pick it up. Do our hands touch? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and you both go. go. <laughs> Which one of you is actually going to take it and look at it? I'll let Melees. Okay. Okay. You look at the note and you open it up and it says, We miss you. Get well soon, Euphoria. And it has XOXO, Lenny, and Squiggy. Uh, I don't know what this means. <laughs> that, that's so weird. Here, I'll take it. <laughs> that's so strange. Let me, I'll just put this in my room and take, next time I'm out, I'll make sure it gets delivered to the right person. Do you know? <laughs> well, huh? What? <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but she is, must be a very lucky lady. <laughs> well, that's really that's kind so of you. <laughs> well, thank you, my <laughs> To track down a total stranger and get them their mail. It's amazing. I um, have my moments. I feel like Ch Chadley just looks at yeah, you. Chadley yeah. is, sees that he's like, if a you know that you're going to have to give him those cookies. Yeah. A squirrel could cock his eyebrow in disgust. He would be yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's what you see. Um, Lanny, there is a note in familiar handwriting that is from Keith, who is asking you, uh, basically... 
Hey, haven't talked to you in a while. I know that you've been staying here and you've been busy. Do we need to look for a different viol player? Oh my gosh. Oh. No, 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 no. I need to go talk to him. Oh dear. Everybody notices that they have each gotten, except for Miles, has gotten a little reminder card that the next social club meeting is actually going to be tomorrow. So oh. you make sure you have read Kiss of Fire and you can come and attend and feel free to bring any snacks that you would like to. It's not required, but you, you can bring them and it should be a delightful time. There are a bunch of note cards, Hilrana, that you see that look like they've been hastily scrawled on and they each are signed SC. And the first one on the top of it says, where are you? No one believes me. And then the one underneath that in the lower in the stack of mail says, things are escalating. I need your help. And then at the bottom of the mail pile, it says, sorry to have missed you. Could we meet soon? What the hell's SC? So that's what you have there. And then, of course, we have Greg's tabloid that he gets, the Mirador Mirror. Yeah. The biggest headline on the front page of this is Fury of a Woman Scorned. And it says, Things are heating up at the Royal Palace as inside sources claim that Princess Celeste's heartbreak over Prince Grant's wedding night betrayal has morphed into rage and the desire to reclaim her honor. Empress Brigia seems equally infuriated. Perhaps she didn't approve of the youth Union to start with. We know that she wasn't present at any of the nuptial ceremonies and voiced concern when her late partners, Emperor Atmos and Empress Aura, forged a pact to end hostilities between the Black Cloud Islands and reunited the countries with the arranged marriage of Celeste and Grant. With these powerful women hell-bent on revenge, is war on the horizon? Meanwhile, Prince Sono seems to be better handling the end of his relationship with backstabbing Bernadette Belengrad. He's been seen about town each night with a different beauty on his arm. And then it continues to go on to other stories. There also, you notice right away, it catches you on the back page of it, is an ad that says, were you promised the power to shred your limits, but found your life in tatters <laughs> instead? Send a raven to the law offices of Asmoldris and Lilis. You deserve justice. I'm going to tear that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, it's like, where am I going to raven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have raven. And then, then the, some, the other things that you notice there are some missing persons, disappearances, and a little article that talks about how disappearances in the lower terrace are increasing, but guards have no leads on that. And wait, I think that is it. Wait, who's disappearing? Just disappearances. That's just a little article about um, the guards being incompetent and not being able to figure out what's going on. In the lower terrace, generally. Hilarana, do you share your notes that you got from SC? Yeah, I'm like, who the hell is this? Is it Sono Claudia? Or possibly. I don't know why he'd be looking for me, though. Well, I think he thinks we're friends. Are we not? <laughs> Tell us well, how you really feel. Ferris would mean it that way. Ferris would. Okay, incredible. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think he thinks we're friends, Sugar. Is there a return address or something? Or is it no? Well, they should have included a return address. I think that Lanny, because it's been a long time, so I'll be I'll be kind to you. Lanny would remember that the previous conversation that you all had with. Prince Sono was trying to explain to him that something weird happened at the wedding and to try to stop Celeste from starting war. And he was like, well, I don't have any proof. Can you guys help me figure out how to explain this to people so that they'll stop right. ramping things up? And then we left. Then so you left. Okay, so we uh, have it. <laughs> I mean, in our defense, Harana did get kidnapped. That, yes, that's true. Yeah, you yeah. had to take care Threat of that. Threat of murder. Yeah. Yeah. Above impending war. Well, and you would also... <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Sona was a dumbass. So yeah. he, yeah. if he had put things together, he probably would have realized that, like, Hilrana had gone to the party with Luke because he'd been talking and hanging out with Luke. But Sono doesn't pay attention to things. No. No. And also, one other thing that I know you probably forgot about, Lanny... Thinking about the book club invites, you recall that you also have a couple of tomes that you were lent by Aneth Tresail that dealt with some lore about Lear. Yes. That you have not looked at yet. Unless okay. you wanted to have looked at it on your journey back. Yeah, I feel like 
that's something I could have done in the... Yeah, you know, that's kind of pressing business. So. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and make a investigation check in this book, because they're very dense tomes. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I got a 13. That's not too bad. You have, like I said, you had plenty of time to read through them. So it's mostly just that they're pretty dense. So it's going through page after page after page that does has nothing to do with anything that you need to yeah. know about. It has some historical tales, which you probably get the sense are more like myths or, right. or fables. That's one of the books is pretty much entirely that. But you do eventually find a section which stands out a lot for you. And this is a tale of how people had actually, in a great time of need, had summoned Lear to the material plane to ask for her aid, like actually brought the goddess herself to Lara, the planet that you're on. Um, and so it has a list of what they did to conduct that ritual. So some of the things that are listed are blood of a powerful enemy slain in one-on-one -on -one combat, scrolls from the archive of the goddess's son, a dagger made of volcanic glass forged by a priest of the goddess's other half, and a shard from a tree infused with the blood of Lear. And it does continue to go, but you see that the edge of one of these pages has been ripped out. And so you're trying to see like, well, what the fuck was this ritual? That information is not in this book. It's been torn out Rats. very conveniently. A lot of the pages have been torn out of these books. Like either people didn't want that information being found, but this was left in, I guess, because they figured, well, no one's going to find this stuff or figure out what they did. Right. But you do see at the very edge before it is torn out something about starting the ritual and it mentions Temple in the Heart of Amaret. It's good that you read them because you probably should bring those books back to Aneth. Yes. I'm going to send a raven to Sono just to let him know I'm back in town. Okay, wonderful. To, if he wants to meet. Uh, Ferris is going to try to sneak to her room with them damn cookies. And she he knows she hears teeny tiny little paws. Oh, yeah. When you open her. the door He's to your there, room, yeah. Chadley is in there. And <laughs> oh. Chadley just holds his paws out. <laughs> oh, you little bastard. You can have one cookie. They're the size of you anyway. <laughs> he shakes his fist to you. <laughs> Just decide. You can make a persuasion check if you want to. I'd give him two cookies. Oh, hell no. I can't persuade him of nothing. Yeah, no. Chadley yeah. demands at least three cookies. I'm going to act like it. I don't want to give them to him, but I'll give him three cookies. He's going to be very sick. <laughs> oh, he's going to have to hold back his hair while he vomits. Oh. Well, I would give him one at a time, maybe. so that <laughs> He just takes them and runs off with them, and it's going to be a Hilrana problem oh. later. <laughs> I'm going to send a raven. Okay. To oh, that yeah. Lawyer. To the law offices. What yeah. would you like to put in your note? Just that just, I've been wrong. I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been like to seek <laughs> monetary compensation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can definitely send that off um, and you'll, you'll hear back at some point. No, Euphoria will write a secret thank you note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go find Keys. Okay. Yeah. He's, uh, you could look at the, practice hall and he is there with Senna okay. rehearsing and there is another person with them. Oh, oh so now. I am a little bit confused because I did say that I was doing gigs with them like last week. You don't, you'd have to talk to Keith to okay. figure out what's going on. All right. Yeah. Oh, Lanny. Hi. Hey. Hey. Um, I tried to get in touch. We had a couple of gigs come up last minute and we needed somebody to fill in. You're back in town though. Yes, I am. Awesome, awesome. Oh, shit. Um, he looks over at the vial player and kind of looks back at you. Um, yeah, so probably because we already committed to the gigs with Chet that we'll, we'll go through with that, but he's not a permanent fixture. I just needed, I, I really need the money for the kids. And Senna, you know, she's trying to save up to go to that fancy bard college. Right, yes. So... I'm so sorry, oh, no Lanny. I'm That's sorry, fine. but it's not a permanent replacement at all. I just didn't didn't know when you'd be back, and we really needed to take these gigs. Of course, I, I understand. It might be good to have an understudy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one can compare to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'm so sorry, Lanny, but I got to get back to practice. Um, I will, if you're going to be back in town for a while, I will definitely come by when I have any information about any other gigs that are coming up once we fulfill these 
obligations with Chet. That's fine. Thank you. No problem. And Chet gives you dagger eyes. You see on his wrist a little charm bracelet, and on the charm it has the viol on it. Wait, that's the same bracelet I have. That's it's very one, similar. That's the one that they picked out from Fantasy Team. It's Mobile. very similar. I feel I feel awkward, and I will be leaving. Is anybody else doing anything? I need to go get my dad out of jail. Perfect. Speaking of which, after you guys have a little bit of time to settle in, take care of some stuff, Lanny, when Lanny returns, gets a ping on Lanny's bracelet that says, Hello, is anyone there? Archie, is that you? And you can come into the room and everybody can hear this. Well, I've been I've been trying to reach out every day, you know. Um, I've been kidnapped and they're holding me until the ruby is returned. So you know, um, if if you have any time or it isn't too inconvenient, it would be pretty great if you could bring that ruby if you have it. Oh, of course. Otherwise, I'll just stay here. Oh, no, Archie, we'll definitely return the ruby. Where are you? Where can we drop it off? Oh, let, let me ask them real quick. You hear some, some discussion in the background. A different voice comes on and says, I will have someone bring him and you will bring the ruby in exchange tomorrow at Sky Market outside Shea Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. No, it's say cheese. Like the word in there. It's say cheese. But yes, essentially, you can do a hostage exchange with the ruby tomorrow at a neutral ground. Is this the person that lost the ruby, or is this someone else? It is the same woman speaking right now. Good. I don't want to end up in another situation where the movie <laughs> ends up somewhere else and I have to get it. No, it is definitely just, the same But the rest voice. of the arc is Hilrana trying to get this <laughs> ruby back and get it to the right person oh over God. and over. But yes, you head over, you get to the arranged meeting point in front of Shea Cheese, which is a artisan cheese shop in the Sky Market. I assume you get there on time. We don't have to draw this out or anything unless you really want to do any kind of nonsense. Everybody describe what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Go shopping for this. Yes. <laughs> we need to buy some responsible outfits for the hostage exchange. I'm late because I stopped to buy late. cheese. Okay. You, so if you, <laughs> you are late, cheese. yeah, if you are late, you come out of Shea Cheese and you see standing there, Winter the Tabaxi, who you had met, Hilvrana, is standing there with a totally fine looking Archibald. It's not like they tortured him or anything. And you hear in your mind, do you have the ruby? Yes. And I give them the ruby and some cheese. Oh. <laughs> in, a, in a tasteful gift, gift box. Winter, the tabaxi, opens up the box and sees it. Thanks, you hear in your head. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> They're going to give you all Archibald and take the cheese and the ruby and give a little wave and head off. I give Archibald some cheese also because I saw his sandwich fixings for... Thank you so much, Mistress Hellrod. <laughs> I, was, it's, I was in a room for a very long time. There were a lot of, a lot of cat erotic... <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you can only read so much of that before it gets a bit old. <laughs> Thank you. As you all are maybe heading over to Spellbound, somebody knocks into you melees on the street and they are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It is a tan human man with curly hair and he is wearing an Ianthian style tunic, which is the country that you are from. And he looks up at you and he's like, Dominus, what are you doing in the city? Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Those are some fight words. 